Mammalian cells obtain the oxygen and nutrients they require to survive from nearby blood vessels. Because of this, cells are usually located no further than 0.1 to 0.2 millimeters from the capillary. Tumor cells also require a blood supply to grow. Without this, solid tumor growth is limited to about 2 millimeters, or approximately 100 to 300 cells. Small tumors without blood vessels may lie dormant for months or even years. However, tumors can develop their own blood supply by a process known as angiogenesis. The process begins when tumor cells secrete angiogenic growth factors that stimulate endothelial cells lining nearby vessels. In addition, some tumors also require activation of certain growth factor receptors, such as epidermal growth factor receptor and RET, in order to grow and spread throughout the body. Therefore, agents that block angiogenesis and tumor cell growth have the potential to be more effective anti-cancer therapies than agents that act on only one of these pathways. Of the angiogenic factors produced by the tumor, the most important is thought to be the vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF. VEGF binds to specific receptors located on the endothelial cells lining nearby blood vessels. VEGF binds to the extracellular portion of the VEGF receptor, promoting receptor dimerization. This activates the receptor's intracellular tyrosine kinase domain, and autophosphorylation takes place. This allows specific intracellular molecules to recognize and dock onto the VEGF receptor, propagating a signal from the cell surface into the cell. VEGF signal within the endothelial cell stimulates the formation of new vessels that grow towards the tumor. The tiny tumor now has a supply of oxygen and nutrients, allowing it to grow and to metastasize to other parts of the body. Activation of certain growth factor receptors is implicated in tumor cell growth. For example, the epidermal growth factor receptor, EGFR, is important in many cancers, and RET is important in certain types of thyroid cancers. Growth factors bind to the extracellular portion of their receptors, promoting receptor dimerization. This leads to activation of the receptor's intracellular tyrosine kinase domain and autophosphorylation, which in turn stimulates a cascade of downstream signaling events. The consequences of receptor signaling are tumor growth and metastasis. AstraZeneca is investigating orally bioavailable small molecules that target the intracellular tyrosine kinase domains of the VEGF receptor, EGFR, and RET kinase. These studies are evaluating the effects of inhibiting ATP binding within the tyrosine kinase domain of the VEGF receptor to prevent the signal transduction that would otherwise lead to new tumor blood vessel formation. The effect of inhibiting signal transduction via EGFR and RET kinases on tumor growth and survival is also being evaluated. In the absence of a blood supply and inhibition of growth factor signaling, the tumor remains in a dormant state. In addition, the ability of the tumor to metastasize is reduced.